Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones is in a lot of trouble after the families of victims from the Sandy Hook mass shooting won a series of huge verdicts against him, totaling nearly up $1.5 billion. After he claimed for years that the massacre had killed 26, including 20 children, was a hoax, and that family members of the victims were paid actors. The question I have, though, and I know so many others have, is will he actually have to pay? Will this really lead him to go broke? Well, on Friday, the InfoWars host filed for Chapter 11 personal bankruptcy, saying this on his show. I'm officially out of money personally, and it's all going to be filed, it's going to be public, and you will see that Alex Jones has almost no cash. So does that mean he's going to avoid paying the judgment? Many, many people aren't buying it. And a lawyer for the family's suing called this, quote, the latest in a long line of tricks by Alex Jones to keep the Sandy Hook families from the justice to which they're entitled. It won't work. I'm not so sure. We'll see. In a separate lawsuit, the victim's families have accused Jones of improperly siphoning assets from his businesses and channeling them to himself and his family. So I want to know what happens now. What does it mean that he's filing for bankruptcy? Shortly before the verdict in the first trial this summer, Jones had InfoWars parent company, Free Speech Systems, filed for bankruptcy. Then an Austin, Texas jury awarded $45.2 million in damages to the parents of Jesse Lewis, a Sandy Hook victim. Then in October, the families of eight Sandy Hook victims and an FBI agent won more than $1.4 billion in damages from Jones, who never seemed to take the proceedings seriously and day after day looked to create complete chaos in the courtroom. You have families in this courtroom here that lost children, sisters, wives, moms. This is a struggle session. Are we in China? Put your gun out, Mr. Jones. It's not gun. What is it? Because you're not allowed food or gum of any kind in the courtroom. I, I, I had my tooth pulled uh, a week and a half ago, and it's, I, have, I had some gauze in it earlier, and it's, it's been causing me to have some pain. What about Oklahoma City? You said that's a false flag inside job. Absolutely. I've interviewed the police officers and others that were there, found the other bombs inside. Uh, they've been on my show. But I legitimately thought it might have been staged, and I stand by that, and I don't apologize for it. And countless times after leaving court, he would either speak outside of court or go on a show and attack the families, even the judge. He even had InfoWars run a story that the judge was connected to a sex trafficking ring, which would find its way into one of the trials. Judge Maya Gamble comes from CPS, who has been exposed for human trafficking and working with pedophiles. And in the Connecticut case, the day before he was supposed to take the stand, he hopped on a private jet to launch a boycott. Yes, a private jet. Remember, he says he doesn't have any money. And this is how he justified skipping town. Not because I'm guilty, but because she says if I tell the truth, she'll put me in the Waterbury jail for six months. That's what she can do. Third trial scheduled to begin March 27th. But what is the impact of him now filing for personal bankruptcy? Joining me now, Jesse Weber, attorney and host for the Law and Crime Network, which I founded. He's just released an hour documentary on Law and Crime's Prime Crime about the Alex Jones case. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, so he says he's broke. Yep. Um, how effective will his effort be in declaring personal bankruptcy? I don't think it's going to be effective at all. Let's talk about the number one reason why. Why do people file for personal bankruptcy? One way is to discharge liabilities. It would be great if a judge said all of these judgments are going to discharge. The problem for him is under bankruptcy law, willful and malicious acts like defamation, intentional infliction of emotional distress, which he was found liable for, a court will come back and say, we cannot discharge that liability. You have to pay that and, out. And the first thing you would do in a bankruptcy proceeding is you still have to use all of your current assets to pay off the creditors. That is correct. Right. Go ahead. But here's the other thing, right? Where is the money? So there's been talks that before all this happened, he siphoned off money to different entities. Who owns those entities? Does he? Does his family members? And are they secured creditors? Because if they're secured creditors, they get paid out first before the unsecured creditors, all the, the, the Sandy Hook family victims. So that's one of the reasons he filed for bankruptcy. Slow down the process. Where is the money going to go first? Here's, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.